Hi everybody! Today I want to present our solvent pumps. As a representative of our range of solvent pumps, I show you the solvent pump mini. The solvent pumps are available in different sizes for different container sizes. For small bottles of about 1 liter up to big barrels of about 220 liters. They are all designed for flammable liquids, especially solvents like acetone, ethanol, isopropanol, etc. An important feature they all have is that they are entirely made of stainless steel. This is so important because whenever filling or handling flammable liquids, the pump and the container need to be grounded to ensure safety. Otherwise, electrostatic buildup can occur, which can lead to fire and explosion. As stainless steel is conductive, a reliable grounding and safe filling is possible. With pumps made of plastic, that is not given, as the common plastics are not conductive. But back to the pumps. All solvent pumps are working according to the same principle, the overpressure principle. That means that a pressure is created in the container, which presses the liquid through the tube to the outside and can be dosed safely thanks to the used stopcocks and discharges. Here you see the solvent pump mini, representing the whole family of our solvent pumps. The pumps are fixed on the container carefully and tight. The connection must be airtight, because otherwise it is not possible to create the pressure in the container and the pump would not work. Next, the grounding cable is fixed and connected to the earth by use of a conductive connection. When a reliable grounding is ensured, you can start pumping. Using the red pump ball, the pressure is created in the container. Depending on the version of the solvent pump, it is a hand pump ball or a foot pump ball. Regarding our withdrawal system for solvents, the pressure is created using compressed air or inert gas like nitrogen. When there is enough pressure in the container, you can start dosing and remove as much liquid as needed. It is probably necessary to recreate the pressure to fill the desired volume. When you finish the filling and there is still pressure in the container, the pressure is released by unscrewing the pump carefully or using the respective valve. The pump can stay in the container as they are or can be closed off airtight so that no dangerous vapors can escape after dispensing. You have seen the solvent pump mini and now I show you the taller versions which work and are used the same way. That is the solvent pump hand operated for containers up to 60 liters. The foot operated solvent pump is suitable for containers up to 220 liters. And the withdrawal system for solvent is available for UN containers with a test pressure of at least 250 kPa for containers of 60 or 220 liters. Please note that the grounding cable is not included in the delivery of the solvent pumps except the solvent pump mini. You need to order the anti-static set separately. If you have any questions regarding the solvent pumps or other Berkeley products, please feel free to contact me or my colleagues. We are glad to help you. Thanks for watching and goodbye.